Um, so now with the signature force available, we are to pick only one or two. Uh, see if you are a minor spender or free to play. If you're a wither, you can choose to go for um, all five or all six or however much you want, or just go a deep invest in deeper um level. Uh, but let's see which one has benefits, which one uh, basically pro and cons. Lenombe, we don't have a uh, signature force yet, but if we do have it, the special thing about Lenombe is um. You know, having Raykel, giving disheartened everyone, and then also Raykel, Siakan, Baraka, and Zeon um, is relatively a high damage nuker, plus having a high attack speed, which is why none of them are worth going for Awakening yet, because uh, right now there's there are only two R1 pieces, which is a chest piece and helmet. So by awakening, you are actually losing attack speed. So uh, wait, and maybe when the gnome signature force is available, maybe by that time we will have other R1 PCs pieces that will let us gain attack speed. If that's the case, then it's okay to go for awaken. But nobody in the gnome is recommended except for Xeon. Because we all know Xeon's gonna get blue uh, for Awakening color so that Xeon can get extra defense because Xeon is among the all seven Dragon Knights. Xeon is the one with the most def most defense armor, defense. Um, but again, not a prioritizing option here. Same goes for same goes for Greenland. Not even a, available for signature force, and I can't really think of uh, a possible score or a possible PVP lineup with Greenland yet. But I am thinking of going deeper because there's uh, they have Gale in here, and we are gonna have a possible of possible Fate Core of Eden um, as well. And we'll see how much of a change it brings. <clears throat> also, if you are to awaken, I recommend Batri only. Batri, even without signature force, is still gonna be helpful because having a Batri, uh, having a Batri awaken, will let you have um, will let Batri be the one with the highest attack attack value on your team, which will guarantee that you will get uh, tranquil. From her passive. Also, if you choose to do so, uh, I recommend either fire or machinery. I recommend fire for almost everyone because right now having higher, having larger HP pool is just a lot uh, synergizing than any other issues. And machinery, same reason for machinery giving you the HP. Also. There are gonna be uh, issues when you awaken. There are gonna be issues with the hit. Sometimes you may not be able to hit enemy because with your awakening, you don't have extra hits gained by accessories and gloves. So people may go for ex uh, may go for green awaken to get extra dodge rate so that they can rely on RNG on the dodge. So in that case, I recommend a battery for. Machinery, but even then, bot three is rarely being used for damage dealer. Whenever bot three attacks, it's almost always for it to get the summer blessing off of the off off. So you don't really get to see the damage output of bot three unless it's like a um you pierce labyrinth or other area, which you don't really need extra tech extra hit for. You will be able to hit it most times. If miss, you can just restart. Not a big deal. Um, so yes, if you choose to do so, I recommend fire or ma or machinery, but more towards fire for everyone. Um, Istris, this is actually really um, unexpected for me. I didn't know how strong Istris can be, but Istris apparently is one of the very popular ones being used on PvP. I thought North Von Frosty was the one that's going to be the bomb on the PvP, and it was the bomb on PvP for a while. Um, the pro and all. Okay, let let me go to explore the bomb for us a little bit later. 
So back back to East Taurus. What's important with East Taurus is that you gotta have your Jinai on your team. If your Jinai is awakened, which is I recommend, Jinai awakened with HP, which is fire, is that your Jinai will most likely be the one with the highest attack value than enemy. And you have to make it that way. If Jinai is the one with the highest attack value, Jinai will charm everyone that's opponent team who has lower attack value than Jinai does. And when they are charmed, they lose attack speed. So what's, issue, what's the issue in here is that North Farm Frosty lineup generally have low attack speed. Name one that goes fast. All I can think of is um, Brook. Maybe Rick Murray does, or uh, not, uh, I don't know about this. Brook, Kirina, and Sharpay. But Kirina and Sharpay are not going to be used on PvP. So it's most likely be be uh, Valentina, Range, Bernadette, Anastasia, Shafraken, even Lepin, Degar, um, Iris. They're all relatively, relatively have lower attack speed. Meaning, when you actually invest on Istris, and you have Jinai, and you have uh, Jin, and uh, Deva, what you can do is your Deva will be able to deal, deliver a ton of damage with your uh, signature force damage added. And if the enemy doesn't die by Deva, your Jin, prefer preferably FC Jin, will be there to last it. Or to be, to be there to cast his spell, spell and kill one. And with that, he's gonna refresh his turn again and use spell 2, S2, and then kill another one. So you are actually watching, at least in Korean server, uh, those who went for second tiers of Signature Force. They start the game with two opponent off of the team. So it's important to not awaken FC Jin and not awaken FC Rera, I mean FC uh, Deva, because you need those two be the one with the highest attack speed still. Okay? Some people put uh, Baelish there as well, just to add extra damage output. But believe me, it's actually a, a ton, and even Adams as well. It's actually a ton of damage delivered and also a very uh, strong tools to just pick on enemies, especially when they're matched with North Farm Frosty. North Farm Frosty lineup cannot possibly win against East Trace lineup. Okay, it's it's been solid like that. Um, and not only that, that, that's not only the strength of East Trace Republic. East Trace Republic is yet to be stronger, yet to be the yet to, yet to be more stronger, more stronger with FC Jinai incoming. God knows what kind of FC Jinai uh, will change the meta, and if so, FC Jinai and Istoris, along with Istoris, will be it. And also, there's rumor that Wilkes is gonna be uh, another Fate Core as well, and Wilkes is also under Istoris. So, we'll see what's happening here, okay? We'll see. Moving on to Wasted Red. This is where my personal hope lies. I favor Wasted Red only because I want to go for like crazy HP tank lineup. I don't care about killing enemy. I just care about having a bunch of HP and a bunch of regeneration and a bunch of just never dying units. I want to know how tanky I can get. If you are curious about that, I recommend Wasted Red. Garf. Obviously, giving command to everyone, which gives extra HP, extra defense, only when Garf is the one with the highest attack, highest HP. Meaning, obviously, Garf is the one to go for for awakening if you're gonna invest on Wasted Red. Um, and when you just all go for fire, because you need all the extra HP for Garf. Again, for Rodley as well, FC Rodley is the key here to keep on healing and when you do so you need also fire some people may think of doing frost because fc rodley not only gives a buff to hp but also gives buffs to defense but i like i say um i still favor more hp than more defense in this meta especially because remember 
if you put FC bot 3 in this lineup, Garf and Rodley, your bot 3 will increase extra 20% of HP, right? Which synergize with Firestone Awakening. If you put Dorka there, Dorka will heal you amount of HP lost, which will benefit more if you have more HP. So just in, in, in general, having Fire Awaken is a lot, a lot more um, worth than Frost. So they're only limited to go for Frost, okay? Which is Shafrakian and Zion. So far, that's, those are the only two they can think of yet. Anyway, going back to Wasted Red, um, there is actually a, a Korean a user called uh, Kyogure Sangnyeo. He's a he's like a community, uh, well, meta defying user. Like he he studies a lot, and he he thinks Garf Rodley plus Balar FC Balar can be a thing. And he is thinking of going all the way into Wasted Red, and we'll be so we'll be learning a lot from uh, what he what he can tell by his investment on Wasted Red. But he thinks Bal FC Balar can be used again. Actually, not again. Can be used for the first time. Because when FC Balar came out, it wasn't even a thing. You know, it it just faded off immediately. Anyway, uh, and that's the that's something that we can um wait for. Um. Also, we moving on North One Frosty. This was. Actually, the one that helped me a lot. I I did signature force uh, North Form Frosty, and this gave me all the extra damage that I need to clear the story, to clear the uh, whatever you name it, you name it. Everything was being credit credited to North Form Frosty. I was very lucky to have Shufraken when I don't have when I still don't have a single Raykel. Uh, Raykel. Um. So uh. The, the, the line of simple. You deal a ton of damage with your Shifrakian spell, with your um, Iris, with your Lepin, and with your uh, Valentina range, and Bernadette and Asasha. The only, uh, and I'm pretty sure Lord of the Fun lineup is capable of pretty much destroying every lineup, except for Istoris Republic. Okay? <laughs> so, um, I would still recommend going for North One Frosty if you are a relatively newbie and if you have a lot of Shifraken. And when you do when you do awaken Shifraken, I recommend Frost because Shifraken gives fear of abyss to enemies who has lower defense than himself. And Shifraken needs to have a lot of defense in order to make sure that even enemy Shifraken or anyone who have high, highest defense can still be under fear of abyss. Done. Um, and there are other, other uh, others who you can, whom you can awaken, which is Valentina and possibly Range. Valentina and Range also being recommended for fire. If you do Anastasia, it's also recommended to fire. But all, but keep that in mind. You may be using Anastasia better with just all six fro six machinery stone rather than awakening Anastasia. Six machinery stone on Anastasia will help you on the. Um, Holy Dragon Ground, so that you can avoid p keep being on keep being stunned, and also provide heal, uh, whenever you can. Uh, Lepin as well for fire. Uh, I recommend fire for awakening. But if you don't want to awaken, keep six machinery. Degas, hold on to that. Um, it's good, but there are better tankers out there. Okay, it's good, but it's better tankers. Brook, I also have all six machinery here. And if you do Awaken, I'm also going to be thinking of Awakening Brook with Machinery. So Brook, I recommend Machinery. Reed Marie is going to have their Fate Core renewed, I feel like. Uh, so let's wait until we see what's being renewed in here, okay? Going down, uh, Iris. I also, this is also two choices. If you Awaken, I recommend Iris with Fire so that you can give extra... HP on Iris, which means you are gonna give extra defense debuff onto the enemy. But if you're not gonna go Awakening, I recommend all six machinery. Same reason for FC Anastasia. You need your Iris to be able to cleanse all your team so that your team members can deal damage or can heal and can use their spells, okay? Only issue with, with red is so few have the Garf duplications. That's true. 
that's probably true for like every journal. Uh huh. It's true for global and Asian and, and all the other server, but in Korea, it's kind of different cases. Koreans have a lot of other journals except for Dorka, because Dorka is the only one that appeared very late. Um, so that's why in Korea, especially, we're seeing a lot of East Trace and North Farm Frosty lineup. Those whalers who invest deep on those two um, country. But in global and um, Asia and other uh, uh, in Japan, I feel like we are seeing a lot more versatile. We see some investing on Brune as well because apparently to us globals, Dorka or not, Dorka or Shufrakin, we both had limited time to get those generals. So, um, and also, this is the reason why whenever there is a banner that gives you a general, I repeat, whenever there's a banner that gives you a general, go for pity. I would say, don't even stop after pity. Keep going after pity. Okay? This is so that you don't get to fuse. This is so that you get the fate core off of your general. And then use your generals on to signature force. Fire on uh, for the gnome. Unfortunately, uh, we already had Rachel banner, and I don't think it's coming back unless they're gonna make a uh, you know the core revisit system. Oh, my game just crashed in the well uh, while I was making video, so don't worry, I'll take I'll turn it back on. So the only hope that we are we can rely is when we have the Prince Rachel, which is believed. To be the blue fate core. Even though it's blue, I still don't recommend fusing it too much because you may still benefit a lot more by secret forcing it. For bot three, unfortunately, we don't get to pull bot three anymore because bot three banner is gone. And on string of creation, we can only get one bot three. But imagine, uh, not imagine, but uh, there will be one day that FC bot three will be another one. Another FC bot three is incoming, hopefully, in the near future. So that's the thing we can wait. East Trace, this is impo important. We are soon to have FCG9. Whether it being Halloween theme, whether it being idol group theme, I don't know. Um, we All we know is we are going to have G9, FC. So this is time to use all of your saved up zest. Not only for the outlooks, but actually for the investment of it's Tourist Republic Signature Force. Garf, not yet. We're uh we're yet to have a fate core of Garf. Shufrakin neither. Uh but Dorka, we are soon to have fate core sometimes. Someday, someday. So um get ready for that as well. Okay, so that's what to do. Don't use fate core. Take fate core off and use your generals to sacrifice on signature force okay if the if the reverse world is incoming or if the awakening banner is incoming then we can do uh garf you know pity we can do shufrak and pity but choose wisely because if you are a, a mean a minimum spender if, if you're a free to play you don't get to choose a lot option we only get to choose one or two okay um, so choose your country wisely, and if you've made a choice, don't regret. Just go all the way in. Okay, there's no time to regret. One day, your country will be getting a buff. One day, out of nowhere, your country has re discovered a new way of usage. So don't get disappointed that if you chose a country that you didn't like or you didn't want or you regret, it will all. It will always pay off. Okay, it will always pay off. <clears throat> and if you're a whaler, don't bother. You just go for all six countries, man. What's stopping you, huh? What's stopping you? Nothing's stopping you. Um. So yes, that's the video briefly covering on who to awaken and when you awaken, what kind of stone you go for, and also which country to invest into signature force. <laughs>